The Haven had done so much for me. There's something really special about the Haven. It is possible to live a sober life. Well, all my friends and I received fake IDs um, our senior year of high school. We first started noticing maybe late high school that there was a change with him. When we got to college, the drinking only increased. My grades started slipping throughout college and relationships started getting damaged. When he went to his first year of college, that we saw an even bigger change. I'd been drinking really excessively during my freshman year of college and struggling with my grades and decided a fresh start would be beneficial to me. I transferred colleges after my freshman year of college. And we couldn't figure out what exactly was going on, you know, depression, anxiety. Yes, we knew he drank, but so did everybody else. Continued to drink fairly heavily when I came to Miami. Started seeing a therapist because I was dealing with a lot of depression and anxiety. I don't think we suspected substance abuse. I initially thought that I was drinking because I had the depression and the anxiety. I would later discovered that I was actually had the depression and anxiety because I was drinking. Like Kent said, I don't think we fully um, understood the um, extent of his substance abuse at that point. I came to the Haven about eight months ago after an incident with uh, drinking and left me in the hospital. Well, uh, he's been through hell. There were two incidents, actually, where I ended up in the hospital. It's easy to blame yourself, and we spent a lot of time talking to each other saying, this isn't on us. I called my therapist one night after I'd been drinking for a while, and I asked her if the antidepressants that she had placed me on would kill me if I took the whole bottle of them. And she told me no, and I told her that's not the answer I wanted to hear, and I hung up on her. Continued to drink, um, eventually called the National Suicide Hotline, 20 minutes later, I had two officers knocking on my apartment door. I told them I'd never been cuffed before, so I'd like to go unwillingly. So they cuffed me and put me in the back of a police car um, and drove me to a hospital up here at Miami. And the doctors there had actually suggested that I come to the Haven as a program for recovery. What the Haven offered him is it offered him a place to come and sort of say, I have a problem, I know you're not gonna judge me. And the Haven was this, this safe, secure environment that allowed him to sort of work through it. The change was really astonishing to me. Depression disappeared, anxiety disappeared, started doing better academically, my relationships improved, particularly with my parents. You know they happen to have this brand new program and I think Chris will probably tell you that it's, it saved his life. It saved his life. He has told us the Haven saved his life. Yeah. Yeah. It works when you reach out for help. Students can now address drug and alcohol issues on college campuses three effective ways at the Haven. Mentoring and monitoring program, outpatient centers, and recovery residences. Get back on a college track immediately at premier universities across the U.S. Call or text today.